This video will look at modifying the overview section on the home page of the Service Operations Workspace. Um, so I'm logged into Service Operations Workspace and brings me right to the home page. And I want to uh, modify this section right here. So to do that, I'm going to go into Configure Workspace and then to UI Builder. Um, now it brings me to the home page, and I don't know if it does that because I was here before or uh, if that is by default the page it brings me to. Um, but in any event, that is the page we do want to go to is the home page. And so we have this uh, default variant here, uh, landing page SNC. And we see we get all the usual alarms up here. It's read only because it's uh, protected. It's an SNC page. And also it's in a different application scope. So what we're going to want to do is copy this variant uh, so that we can edit it. But before we do that, um, so I'm in the global scope right now. You probably want to be in the same scope as um, where the page is uh, or where the existing variant is. Incident Management Service Operations Workspace. Um, this way, when you go to move it to production, you can um, grab it out of like customized version of, uh, of this application. Uh, I think it makes it a bit easier. OK, so we'll go here, and we'll go uh, duplicate. Okay, it does take a few seconds to finish up here. And if you click somewhere else while it's doing that, it uh, starts throwing all kinds of alarms. So it's, it's best just to be patient and wait for it, especially, especially on a PDI. It can take uh, an extra long time. All right, there we go. Just before I was about to hit refresh and lost my patience. Uh, okay, so here we are, and uh, now we're not getting the read-only warnings anymore, so we got that going for us. And um, let's just, I'd like to change the, uh, the name. We can call this custom. Okay, and we see that this variant uh, is, in fact, in the Incident Management Service Operations Workspace scope. And so now we just edit it like we would uh, any other page. So it's interesting, um, and this is the first time I've seen it in Tokyo. Maybe it existed already in uh, San Diego. I just never saw it, where we actually have these things called subpages. So if I want to uh, modify the overview, I can go to Edit Content. And this actually brings me to another page, uh, subpage. And so here we just have a collection of uh, different components, like a normal UI builder uh, page. And so you know I can just make a uh, change, like calling this uh, overview uh, custom. And then we will save that. And then to go back to our main page, uh, we use this button up here. Uh, because I'm not actually sure even how you get to these subpages. There's probably a way to get to the subpage directly. Um, but uh, so far, I've only gone through through the normal page. And it looks like this takes just as long to save as it does to, uh, to duplicate. OK, not quite as long. And we go back to the main page here and to the variant. And so now we can see this overview custom. So then the last step would be to make this higher in the priority um, or lower in the order, I should say. So if we go back to the out of the box page, uh, variant rather, oops, not here. Uh, and we go to edit audiences. So this is, uh, oh, actually, OK. We, yeah, we have some audiences set. But what I wanted to do is, yeah, this one, edit conditions. 
Um, so this is set for 100. So if we just uh, put our custom page, our custom variant rather, in at a lower order, we can say 99. Uh, this should show up then as the default. So now let's go back here and uh, go back to our service operations workspace. And after a refresh, we now see uh, overview with our uh, customization in there. So you can just modify anything you want and uh, save it, lower it in the order so that it uh, goes before the out of the box page and you're up and running.